first impressions video um, so I've been anxiously waiting to open this bag so I was looking for a more of like an everyday type of bag um, because I tend to carry a lot of stuff in my bag I don't know if that's just me or like all women in general but like I like to carry snacks and a water bottle and gum and makeup and just like just stuff that I think I would need in case I was like away from the house or something anyways if you hear my son he's playing in the background so this has been the bag that I've been using right? it looks big but it, it's not really big. It's, let me see. So, it's like, I guess it's a decent size, but I wouldn't say it's like an everyday type of bag. It's probably like, hey, I'm going to dinner, you know, let me grab this bag. So anyways, so like, I have mascara in here and lip gloss and a mask and my wallet which I just bought a new wallet. I got this off Amazon, you know, and I have hand sanitizer and toothpaste and a toothbrush. So like lotion. So like it just wasn't working anymore for an everyday kind of bag. So I have been looking up and down and there was a lot of cute bags but I didn't want to spend like two hundred dollars because that's just I I can't I just no. So I found this company called. Uh, let me make sure I don't want to say it wrong. It's called Modern and Cheek Boutique. So apparently it's this company, a woman-owned company, started by a mom. Um, I tried looking for reviews on this particular, not, well not reviews, but like YouTube videos on this particular bag, but I only found one video. Now they have other videos about their other, uh, I forget what their bag is called. It's a popular bag that they sell that everybody seems to buy. But this one in particular, there was only one video, um, which, I'll link it down below because I think if it, if it wasn't for her video, I don't know if I would have purchased it or not. Um, so yeah, let me open it. like real leather but I know it's not um let me make sure just everything is wow okay so so far I'm liking it um so just to compare so this is the size of the bag so this one's a little bit bigger and the reason why I got this one was because you can wear it as a backpack or as a shoulder bag. Um, so yeah, it's got a pocket for a water bottle, 
which I like to carry. Um, it's got this front pocket here. That's nice, I could probably fit my whole wallet in there. Yeah. Um, This top one, the pockets are pretty deep, so that's good. Um, and then how do I, oh, here. Okay, so here's the strap for the shoulder bag. There's my son in the background, and this police car. Um, so it's got like two, can't really, see. it's got two of these pockets here. And then it's got a zipper pocket. So it's pretty deep and I like that. I'm gonna do like a two part video to this. So just to show you what I did put like what I ended up putting in the bag. Um, but yeah, so far I like it. And the other video that I had found, um, I think she inspired me like to organize my bag because it's just looking a hot mess in there. It's not looking good at all. Um, but she had, she had been using it um, in the comments, I can see she had it for like, probably been like three months and she said it was holding up well. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this holds up. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I like how it feels, it's nice and smooth. The hardware looks, you know, quality. This is the strap. I know on the website it came with, uh, you could order like other straps to do a shoulder bag. But for now I'm just gonna use this because I think I'm mostly gonna use it like as a backpack. Um, the only thing I would say is like, I wish this was where you put your water bottle. I wish it was like an insulated one, an insulated pocket. But I mean, that's not a deal breaker because I have a, insulated water bottle anyway so so yeah this is it i'm excited guys i'm really excited so yeah anyways like i said i'm gonna show um i'll probably attach it to this video but i'll show you guys what i end up putting in here um and then maybe like Later on, I'll just do an update video to show you guys how it's holding up. And yeah. And I'll show you guys how it looks too, like once I put it on, how it looks as a backpack and a shoulder bag. So yeah, anyways, let me work on organizing my bag. So I have been using my Mikel convertible back, backpack. Uh, I started Sunday, today's Tuesday. So yeah, only a couple days, but I'm already loving it. So, oh, sorry. So um, I'm just gonna show you guys what I actually have in it. So you can see how roomy it is. Um, so you could, yeah. Okay, so this is the bag again. So you can see it fits the water bottle in the little water bottle compartment, um, which it still doesn't, even with that on the side here, it doesn't take up space inside of the bag. Um, and it actually has two pockets. I didn't know that. 
So, in this front pocket here, I just keep my wallet and my phone. So, this is my wallet. Um, right in this front pocket, I just put my keys. And inside, and I like that you can open it So the zippers come all the way down to the side, right? So you can open the bag wide. You know how some bags, like the zipper stops right here and you can't really get inside your bag? Well, with these, like I said, or with this, the bag, um, the zippers come all the way, well, not all the way down, but a quarter down, but you know, you could open up the bag. So anyways, inside, I have three mesh bags. This is like my little pharmacy kit. Um, then I have my electronics, like my charger, my headphones, my charger cords. And then I have my makeup bag, you know, just in case if I need to look presentable somewhere. Um, and then I have a book that I'm reading, a little notebook so that I can jot down um, just ideas and then two pens. So yeah, it's pretty roomy inside. This is what it looks like guys. I probably have to take like a shot from the top so you guys can see better. But actually, even with all this stuff in here, um, I'm just gonna make sure. Got the notebook. So okay, I put all three of my little mesh bags back inside. Um, you can even still fit an iPad. Now, I know it can't be like a, my iPad is the iPad Air that came out like eight years ago, but it fits in there. It fits in there comfortably. So yeah, I'll show you that it's in there. See, voila, iPad. So yeah, and I mean, I don't usually carry around with my makeup bag all the time. So if I take out the makeup bag, it'll probably even fit more comfortably. But I mean, you can even use this like for a diaper bag if you're, you know, if your kid is at that stage where they don't need so much things, like a couple diapers, some snacks, some toys, everything will fit in here. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more stylish. Um, so yeah, that's what I have in my bag. Um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my back. So that's the bag. Um, the only thing that I said that I would change or would have liked is that the, um, the water bottle compartment if one of them was insulated but like i said it's not a deal breaker because if you have one of these i mean that keeps it cold for a really long time um and then if they had like like if you just wanted to wear it as a shoulder bag but you know you still have the backpack strap still showing if there was a way that they could conceal it back here and then that way you don't have the shoulder bag and then the backpack strap showing. But other than that, I'm loving the bag. Um, it was $38, but I, um, if you go on their site and you like sign up for their emails or something, they do send you a code sometimes. So I got 10% off and then you have to pay shipping if it's under a certain amount. Um, so, in total, I paid $40.15, which to me, that's still a pretty good deal. 
um, but actually if you are interested in buying the bag or anything else from their site if you use my code Vanessa 20 you'll get a discount I have to make sure on the code but I'll link it down below um, so yeah that's the bag I hope you guys like this video um, if you do like share and subscribe so yeah thanks for watching see you okay so hopefully you can hear me this is what it looks like on my back still cute not too big not too small and then if I want to use it as a shoulder bag this is how it looks which normally I just carry it as a backpack unless I need to grab it real quick and then I use the shoulder strap but so yeah I just wanted to show you from like the top how it looks so this is all my stuff in here minus my iPad because I don't really um, carry it with me a lot because I just do everything on my iPhone um, but yeah so this is what it looks like and there's still some space so yeah anyways that's it all right bye